Snell, happy fucking new year, and welcome to a new episode of Final Final Vlog. And today, we're going to be blasting Blood Incantation, live vitrification, and also going over how fucking sick this live release is. I'm actually playing the ambient track on the B-side. Wow. Seriously, last night, first off, I'm going to read you the warning, because this is very important, depending on how you want to experience this release. And the LP is coming, so chill. But, warning, this transmission was received while the Stargate Within was open. Repeated engagement of this recording perpetuates the opening of this portal, leaving your astral body susceptible to attack or subtle influence from interdimensional holographic parasites hiding outside of the visible spectrum. The energy bridge can take you to them as easily as they can be brought to you. No death is known, only doorways. You are the Stargate. Fuck yeah. And this was recorded live in New York City on May 4th, 2018. That was a double day show on the Demi Lick Tour. Amazing artwork here. The soundboard recording's great. The mix and mastering job by Peter is amazing. And the artwork's done by Lucas uh, Corte. But to contact Blood Incantation, all you have to do is just concentrate. And that's where this ambient piece comes in so much handy. But I'll get into that in one more second. Uh, just this artwork is just absolutely gorgeous. I, I, I love it. Uh, everything about it's fucking amazing. It's blood incantation. I knew it was going to be awesome. But I had no idea about this. Attention cosmic demons. We all know that you are waiting for the new album. It is imminent. We have just been busy opening Stargates worldwide. Here are all the portals we have opened since Star Spawn was unleashed. In the meantime, enjoy this live album showcasing the power of B.I., cosmic echoes, and nubular greetings. Now, in my opinion, Blood Incantation not only are some of the fucking best songwriters in death metal, but they're some of the best live performers as well. Seriously, if you've never seen Blood Incantation live, wow. Fucking wow. Just Go look up some of their live videos online. I have a, I think I have a couple from Denver posted from when I went out there for the Dark Descent uh, anniversary show. But we have every tour since Star Spawn came out. So I can look at the first time I saw Blood Incantation on the East Coast Extinction Tour in 2016. 9, 18... 2016, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Fucking sick. And this was recorded on the um, Eastern Abominations tour with um, Demilic, uh, Art Artificial Brain, and Scorched actually played this show. Wow. Like, the cosmetics on this tape are amazing. The production on the actual two versions of, you know, the vitrification of blood are so fucking good sounding, like, oh man, I'm so happy as well that they left the crowd noise at, like, the end and whatnot, it's just a very, very satisfying 19 plus minutes of pure death metal bliss that, to me, is blood incantation, because I... Am a massive fan, and yeah, I if I thought this was you know a mediocre recording, I would be like, you know, 
it is what it is, but it's not. This is something fucking special. It's something that I, I'm going to hold in high regard in the near future. And I'm very excited for the LP release of this. Just because I'm going to wear this tape out. I, I've already listened to it about a dozen times. It's so fucking good. I, I, I just love it. And like, The Vitrification of Blood, Part 1 and 2, are two of the best death metal tracks. Like in years. I don't care what anyone fucking says. It's my opinion. I don't care. But hearing them both together is just so fucking cool. And then this ambient track, dude, last night I it was like raining. It was gloomy. It was kind of miserable. I turned the lights out. Like it was pitch black in here. And I turned this on at full blast. And it felt like three hours had passed, but I, I don't know. Like, I legit got some meditation in, and I ended up feeling, like, very, very rejuvenated and very, like, I just felt good. And normally, like, it's close to my birthday. It, it's been, like, a year since my dad died. I have a lot like going on right now in my like head and thank you this really really helped my mind kind of not grasp everything that's happening right now like health wise as well my body's falling apart I'm pretty sure I have torn ligaments in my shoulder the arthritis in my knee like it sucks there's nothing I can do about it either like I mean, the shoulder, I probably can get surgery, but it's like, do I, do I really want that shit? Sorry to get off topic, but seriously, I wasn't thinking about any of that stuff while playing this. And to me, that alone is worth the admission price. So once this is available again, and I know the LP's dropping soon, so don't waste all your money. Seriously, just sit on a little bit of it. But... According to Paul, as long as Blood Incantation is an active band, these will be available. And thankfully, fuck yeah, dude. And don't try and be a scumbag and put this on Discogs for $45 because that just goes to show you have no support for a band like Blood Incantation, no support for the underground, and you're just a greedy asshole. Seriously, like, this is going to be readily available. Chill. Yeah, it sold out right away. Yeah, I jumped on it right away. It's because I'm a massive, massive fucking fan. I'm not just some fucking Fairweather fan that just heard, you know, Interdimensional Extinction last week. And I'm not saying I'm a better fucking fanboy than you. I'm just saying, that's the reason this is in my hands right now. Not because I had to have it. It's because I'm a fan. I want to support the fucking dudes, man. Like, Jeff, everybody, Paul, Morris, fucking Isaac. Like, everybody in Blood Incantation, awesome, awesome human beings. And just, this is so fucking good. If you're a fan of Star Spawn, you need this. If you're a fan of Blood Incantation, you need this. If you're a fan of death metal, fuck yeah, you need to hear this. It's so good. Yeah, the ambient side, I know, is not going to be for everybody. But if you have an open mind, you're going to love it. I absolutely love this type of stuff. Like, fuck yeah. It, it really, like, for some reason brought me back to, like, when I was trying to play, like, Times of Grace with that, uh... Tribes of Narote version, and you know, you, you would play the two together, and it would make like a more electronic version of like Times of Grace and whatnot. It was a very cool little experiment, but it's just this is an amazing cassette tape. And while listening to it, part of me wanted to like throw on Star Spawn and see if it like synced up, but we'll try that. Maybe in a live stream in the near future. That sounds like a good idea. 
But I hope everybody had a safe New Year's and whatnot. And it was a great year in 2018. Thanks everybody that watched and whatnot. You guys are the fucking best. And Hales goes out the blood incantation for putting out an amazing live performance and a killer new ambient track on live vitrification. Fuck yeah. Self-released by Blood Incantation. Keep your eyes open on their big cartel. And if you're friends with anybody in the band on Instagram, kind of take a peek at their profiles. Because sometimes that's the only way you're going to know about some stuff like this. So keep your eyes open. Because this is pure fucking cosmic fire and like i said this really took me places and i'm not just saying that i wasn't on psychedelics i smoked a little bit of weed and that was it and it was just so fucking relieving and just an amazing amazing astral fucking sonic experience and hopefully you guys feel the same about this release and yeah, no death is known, only doorways. You are the Stargate. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah, welcome to 2019, motherfuckers. Hoops.